All right, guys, what's up? Um, it's another day out here. It's absolutely hot as shit. It's like 95 degrees, something like that. And um, got a day off today, so I'm out here trying to get this, just getting worked on the D-Max, getting the motor ready to be pulled out. Um, I'll show you what I'm doing out there. But Jacob should be headed over here after our, after he gets off of work, and he can help me out a little bit. But everything's breaking around here. This is my uh, daily driver. I don't even think people really give a shit or know that I have this, but it's a uh, 1998 Acura Integra, and uh, needs brakes. So I'm doing the fucking brakes, and one of the studs for the bolt snaps off on the hub. And in order to replace a hub or the, the stud on these cars, you have to take the whole fucking hub out. And um, so you got to take the whole spindle off. And then I ended up stripping the threads on the ball joint out. So I have to put a new lower ball joint in there. So I was literally just trying to do brakes on this thing. And it turned into be a fucking way bigger deal than it should have been. So I need to uh, use... Jacob's press and press my uh, wheel bearing back into my hub. I already got a new wheel bearing. The wheel bearing was actually bad, so it's probably a good idea that I replaced it. But uh, that's what's going on with this with this little car. So it's annoying, but I'm gonna go show you guys what I'm doing on my truck right now. All right, so we got the AC condenser off one of the um, charge pipes, or not even. It's just the intercooler piping. Um, there's probably some technical name for that, but I don't know what it is. But anyways, um, literally have everything disconnected so I can pull the intercooler and radiator out. I'm trying to leave them connected so I can just pull them out together. But uh, the inter intercooler won't come out. I just realized you gotta take this battery box out. So I literally have got this thing just ready to, just any second, it's gonna be ready to come out. But um, so after we get that out, We'll have to, I guess, disconnect probably like the heater core. Um, see if any there's any electrics, whatnot. I'm using a manual, and then I guess we'll have to to see what the steps I need to take, and then eventually we're gonna have to disconnect the transmission, which I'm not looking forward to doing that at all because I hate working up under vehicles. It just I hate it. Can't. It's just so uncomfortable. But um. As long as the weather holds off, I guess I'm just going to keep grinding on this thing. It's fucking sucks working on it, though. Literally, I'm just baking in the fucking heat right now. But got to do what you got to do. Anyway, so what I, I, I just need to have, a, I guess, a quick little rant real quick. And uh, me and Jacob have both talked about this. We both agree on it. And it's something that keeps coming up in the comments a lot. All right, so basically, the, uh, I guess, really, to start off, we need to explain what this channel is about. And our channel is not a automotive repair channel. We are not mechanics. I'm 19, he's 20. We don't have any training. We just learn as we go. And I would say we know more than a lot of people, most people do, and when something breaks, we fix it. And that's the whole thing behind it. So our channel is, we're not a repair channel. We're literally just, you know, you guys see it firsthand. We just take cars and just beat the shit out of them, have fun, drift them, race them, and then we fix them, make them fast. That's the whole point of the channel. It's not an automotive like repair thing. We're not mechanics. I've had, you know, several comments of people saying, you guys call yourself mechanics and you guys think you're mechanics. Like, no, I don't work on stuff, neither of us for a living. We have no training. We just do it. We fuck our own cars up and then we're able to fix them. And so I, I don't know, I just feel like I needed to clear that up because I guess the name, I can see where people would think that, but that's not what we're trying to come across as by any means. So I don't know. So I guess with that being said, just hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. All right, guys. So just one last thing. I just forgot to think about this, but uh, we have an Instagram we've kind of tried to been start up. It's Rebel Mechanics with no spaces. So we only have like 30 followers right now. So after this video, if we can get 200 followers on there, that's our goal. We'd really appreciate it. If you guys want to see, we post stuff, you know, stuff that you guys 
see on YouTube just different things, I guess, and we'll keep you guys updated on the projects. So go follow that. It's Rebel Mechanics with no spaces. And uh, yeah, appreciate you guys. All right, guys. So uh, got a bunch of stuff out now. Got the um, got this hose out too. The uh, intercooler piping. This is what it looks like now. So it's uh it's getting there. Getting close to where I'll be able to pull it out. I just noticed my fan has a little crack in it. So. I guess it's probably going to be a good idea to replace the fan while it's apart. I don't want that thing to fucking explode on me or something. But, um, yep, so there is a clamp right there. I just spotted that. Probably for that right there. But, um, yeah, so that hose just kind of sits in there. Down up under here. Clamps into that thing and, uh, got the intercooler and radiator out in one piece you can do that if you take the battery tray out which makes it a lot faster and easier and then the lower fan trowel that just sits down in here and um, you don't even have to unbolt anything that literally just clips into the radiator but that's it I'm about to go get something to eat take a little break cool off for a little bit and then we'll get back at it I kind of am sort of tempted, the sun's literally fucking right above me, I'm sort of tempted to wait a little bit and, uh, you know, wait until it gets a little cooler, but I'm probably just going to keep going anyways, just because I'd like to get this motor out today, that's kind of my goal, and honestly, if I get Jacob over here helping me, I think we can get it out today, because I've got a bunch of the bullshit out of the way, but yeah, that's where we're at now so anyways just driving the 6 uh, that's all I got to drive right now and I put close to I think close to 500 miles in this thing since I've got it and like I've been driving it a lot pretty much towing the trailer all the time and this thing has been doing good like haven't had any problems with it um, nothing weirds happened it's been reliable smooth smooth nice driving truck it doesn't pull their steering's tight so I, I, I like this truck a lot I just need to paint up and some people were saying the other day yes I, I'm gonna use rust encapsulator it's by Eastwood Eastwood rust encapsulator I used it on the 8-1 and it worked great stopped the rust so I'm not just gonna use regular paint but um anyways but uh that's what's going on with this thing just it definitely definitely uh i guess doesn't tow as good as the 8.1 obviously but it still does a pretty good job it definitely my trailer is pretty heavy it definitely struggles a little bit going up hills but overall the 6 -0 does a pretty damn good job but nothing too shabby i guess you could say but we're gonna go get something to eat and then i guess get back to it just going through the drive through here there's another fucking mower up there it's brand new cup set but look at how this dude loaded his trailer are you fucking retarded? It's a 7.3 towing it, but literally the mower is on the back of the trailer. Like, someone needs to tell this guy, that's not how you load a goddamn trailer, buddy. You're gonna have your damn trailer swaying all over the place. All right, guys, well, I was taking a little break for like an hour or so, just, you know, taking a nice little break, and I probably shouldn't have because now the fucking sky looks like shit and I keep hearing thunder so what I'm doing right now is taking the I'm gonna take the power steering pump and AC condenser off just cuz that's what I've heard it helps to take those out before you pull it out and after that I'm gonna I just got some wire a couple wires to disconnect ground wires and stuff like that and there's a little wiring harness somewhere over here I need to find where that is because that needs to be disconnected. I don't know where that is. But, and then we got to get the torque converter bolts. And then after that, disconnect the exhaust. Uh, there's probably some other stuff I'm forgetting. But like I said, it is actually getting pretty fucking close to being ready. I think if it rains, it should cool off a little bit. Then we can 
get back at it later in the evening maybe uh, but as of now I'm just gonna put some of these parts away and tools because I don't want my shit to get rained on all right guys so uh, ended up today pretty much just it got it rained most of the day so after that cloud came in so I need to get my fucking car up and running so uh, like I said I was doing the wheel bearings and shit on it earlier and right now I'm just like sort of confused because I'm pressing this hub in and as you can see like I think that this rough surface needs to go all the way in just because it looks like it needs to go farther in in my opinion too it just it looks doesn't look right but then like the uh, inner piece of the bearing in here which you're not going to be able to see it's got like a little halfway mark and it's exactly at the halfway mark and I literally am like pushing this thing to its fucking max trying to push this down farther I just feel like it's it's got to be all the way in there we just had to make shift a handle and literally broke the handle because we don't have a handle to this so just some more bullshit Jacob's over there sitting in his cavalier wishing that it would run <laughs> but I'm just gonna mess with this and hopefully get my car back up and running and then we can work on the Duramax some more tomorrow I really I think I'm gonna try and get the motor out tomorrow that's kind of my goal I don't really have a ton of stuff left but I just need this bitch over here to help me with it because I'm not trying to get crushed by that motor so but uh why you be calling me up in this bitch yeah and then Got the Cummins back there looking good. He's all dirty. dirty as fuck. It's been raining, but she needs some tunes. Needless yeah. to say, she uh, she needs some she needs some new tunes. So. so I figured out what I'm gonna get. So. Hold on. All right, guys. So we got. I guess I thought of some more, a couple little things we want to talk to you guys about. So um, I guess we'll go ahead and give you an update on the 5.3 Chevy. We are gonna weld the diff in it because why the fuck not I mean it just makes sense to do fix it for free um, so we're gonna have some a fun time with that when <laughs> when it's uh when it's locked up but it's also got uh, we got some bad news on the thing I'm, I guess we won't tell you quite yet but uh, there is something pretty major wrong with it now and uh, the engine is pretty much fucked in it I guess you'll words, see you'll you'll in other words it's 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 fucked so write down in the comments how you guys want to see this thing die because we will whatever gets the most likes i guess for suggestions that's how we'll kill it so whatever you guys think the best way to try and kill this 53 is going to be write in the comments and we will do it if it if we think it's cool and whatnot all right little update on the comments it's sitting out there dirty as fuck but uh I'm gonna get some new tunes for it from Hardway Performance down in Florida. Gonna uh, see what what's best for all of here. I'm gonna call them tomorrow. Cause the tunes are, that are on it are just shit. They're just but, uh, uh, the place that it was tuned. We've heard nothing, nothing but, but yeah, stuff. nothing but bad things about this place. So, which like the reviews on online are decent, but like we've heard terrible things about them from, from people, people who've had personal. So like these Put tunes gotta truck, yeah so. these tunes gotta get off here ASAP I guess but uh, yeah uh, that and just really deciding if I want to keep it or not to be honest but I'm yeah go go ahead it. go ahead and explain explain what because uh, I'm gonna I know in the comments wow you're already gonna sell your truck like <laughs> yeah. I'm just waiting for that like well, so it's just. I don't know. I really like the truck. It's everything I've always wanted, whatever. But uh, really, I was looking for a third gen. I mean, that's where my heart is. I want a five nine, six speed. But yeah, I don't know. I might just throw it on there and see what what's for trade. Maybe a D max, or maybe just get some cash because I, I can make some money on this thing for sure. I don't know why this isn't fucking there. It goes. But uh, just stay tuned to see. I won't sell it really anytime soon, but it, it may be online just to see what's out there, what kind of trades I can get. But, but the 5.3. Uh, yeah, we already we already talked about that. So. Yeah, but the 5.3, uh, yeah, it's done. Going to finish it off. 
but the we gotta, we gotta, I don't think, did we like mention what's, we didn't really tell you guys what the plan is with that thing, and I don't, I don't think I did, but anyways, um, blow the motor up, blow the motor up, a fresh motor is gonna get put in there, low mileage, and you guys can kind of just guess and write in the comments what you think we're gonna do, but, uh, you can probably guess, I mean, <laughs> so it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be something else, so. First, we gotta get this Cavalier up and running, so. so stay tuned for that. Parts yeah. are on the way for, with that, and we're definitely gonna be coming at you with some cool ass vids. Because this car is, this car, I fucking love this car to death, dude. It's just, and now the, we got that little taste of the turbo. And, and if y'all haven't seen that video, go yeah, check it go out. Yeah, go watch I mean, it. It's this thing run. sounds incredible. And we got like, we just got kind of sidetracked with that Cummins, but I feel like. Now we gotta fucking focus in on shit. But uh, I guess that's probably about it for this video. So hope you guys enjoyed it and 